Hey everybody. Looks like we're ready to go. Good morning. Well, yeah, it's still morning technically, where I am anyways. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully well. Sorry I wasn't streaming at my normal time, but I got caught up taking care of some medical stuff, believe it or not. Um, and so the stream had to be pushed back because I'm a semi-responsible adult. Semi-responsible, you know. Can't claim that I'm completely responsible here. So, all right, I think last time we had just gotten to Costa del Sol. There we go, everything should be good now. No, that's so annoying. There we go. Hey, all right, good. Good, 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 everything seems to be in order. All right, let's continue on. Bam. Yeah, we had just gotten to Costa del Sol. Um, we jumped out to do a quick save, but uh, now we can jump back in. We had a good fight with Genova. Let's see, last stream was actually the one where we uh, beat Midgar Zolom early game. That was a that was a good one. I've, I've gotten some uh, compliments on that. Believe it or not. All right, so let's see. Looked at everything here. I'm gonna go down here and check out the beach. Oh, Kliegs. Look, look at that. Who, Hojo? That girl in the big. Fuck it. Not a bad view. <laughs> you asshole. What are you looking at? That man over there. That's Hojo from Shinra. Get out of here. Go talk to him. That uh, translation is poor. I have a bad feeling about this. He's just chilling on the beach. Is that Hojo? Someone's here to see you, sir. I'm busy right now. But too bad. No, I remember you all now. <clears throat> I remember now. It's been a long time, Cliggs. Sometimes you just gotta do something like this. Do you mean go to the beach or those three women? What are you doing? I'm getting a tan. He's still in his lab coat. Answer me! I believe we're both after the same goal. You mean Edgelord? <clears throat> Did you see him? I see. Ha 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 ha. He's suddenly interested in us. What is it? Nothing. I just remembered a certain hypothesis. Have you ever had the feeling something is calling you? Or that you had to visit some place? I'll go anywhere Edgelord is at. To beat him and put an end to all of this. I see, this could be interesting. Were you in Soldier? <laughs> Would you like to be my guinea pig? It's really weird. Are you gonna draw your sword? <clears throat> Stop, Kleegs. Oh, he just died. Um. Cuxalot doesn't like the heat here. Ha ha ha. Say, aren't you the ancient? I'm Martyr. The least you can do is remember my name. Because I'm Martyr. Tell me something, Hojo. I know I'm an ancient. Oh, you mean a Falna. How is she? She died. I see. Is Genova an ancient? Is Edgelord an ancient? Do we have the same blood? Head west. Okay. There's actually nowhere else we can go once we get out here, but he must be hiding something. It looks like he's done. We can't get past his invincible women. <laughs> Everybody's angry at him. It's no use. It's a no-go. So now we gotta head west. Although I think we can actually have another quick talk here. I think here. Let's see, up on the bed, yep, okay. 
Kanye's still up there being a bastard in his little marshmallow outfit. I don't know why I'm so tired. There's so many things I don't understand. I feel a little uneasy. Pligs, what do you think of me? I don't know. I don't understand anything. You're right. Even I don't understand myself. I wonder what part of me is like an ancient. What is an ancient supposed to be like? It's strange, isn't it? I don't understand it. Ah, I'm going around in circles. I wonder if there's any answer to this. Everything's so complicated. Is that all you got for me? I'm going to bed. Okay, go to bed. You do that. I'm gonna leave. <clears throat> With honkers and cucks a lot. We'll use hentai at some point. Hentai is what we named Yuffie, not like we're gonna look at porn. Alright, so um, since we did all that leveling outside of the Midgar area, we don't really have to worry about levels for quite a while here. Um, so we're not going to be doing any, any grinding or anything, at least not on stream. Maybe I'll get to a point where I would want to stream after this, but for now we're good. So let's see this thing. That was easy. So we're start we're starting to hit the point where we're going to continue to get good weapons, and as we get better and better weapons, it's going to become easier and easier for us to just start one hitting people with the level we're at. Um, this is a really interesting part of the game because you're just kind of unleashed in the world. Um, it's not like, <clears throat> excuse me. It's not. It's not like over in the Midgar area where you where you have this big open area. There's like a clear path that you're forced to take. That's a good hit. And dead. Yeah, very nice. Ugh. Also, if you notice, we're not really getting much in the way of experience. I mean, we've only fought those weird mechanical egg things, but. That's a place you can't get till the end of the game. It's actually kind of crazy. That you just see it. This part's cool. This part's the super cool, just like super chill, like check this out kind of area, kind of relaxing. Hey, you're actually talking to me. You can just run right past this guy. What is it? I just passed a guy in a black cloak there. I just tried to tell him that it's dangerous up ahead, and he ignored me. Edgelord. Let's hurry on. Moving on ahead. <clears throat> it's actually interesting to me that this area has... Uh, like actual pre-renders to it, but it is gorgeous. And after that, right to another reactor, for some reason. Uh-oh. Let's see how Beta does. Actually, Beta's gonna completely destroy these things. Man, it'll be nice to get him the uh, uh, counter materia here soon. And you're dead. Oh wow, that one isn't dead. That thing took all of the fire damage. Ah, oh, I didn't get a chance to cure her. That's okay. We can do it in the menus. In fact, in regular areas like this, I probably shouldn't be worried about. Actually... Actually, uh, healing anybody. Alright, so this is another reactor, quite obviously. Um, there's nothing we need to do here until toward the end of the game, like 70% of the way, I think. <clears throat> what 
a chill stream. I'm down for just relaxing today. Hopefully you'll learn to. I don't know why, I'm like super sleepy today. I mean, I don't think I slept too well, but... There we go. We're doing well. Hey look, some actual experience off of these guys. That's another reason you kind of grind out levels, um... Oops. Nope. That's another reason you grind out... No. No. Uh, grind out levels by Midgar is, is, in terms of, like, world experience, you actually run into a lot of, uh, places where you get shit experience here. Um, I think, in fact, I think this, uh, formation of enemies is gonna give us the most experience out of anything we can, uh, get here. So let's hit them with some mid-level magic attacks. Wow, not a single one of them got poisoned, good to know. We don't have any enemy skills to worry about in this general area here, either, so... <clears throat> Fire does a good amount. Yeah. In terms of efficiency, Beta, once again, would probably be the best uh, skill to use. Alright, we should push it to jump, but... We can actually grab items here by directing where we're going. And we grabbed on tight there. And then we want to go up. And there will be one more place where we can do this to get uh, more items. Um, I should probably have Martyr equipped, to, or uh, Martyr in the party to be perfectly honest, because uh, that wizard staff is pretty powerful. <clears throat> uh oh. Did I run right past the spot? I hope I didn't. Alright, so. Cat's freaking out. No. Anyways, we know fire is useful against them, so Vita, which is close to Fire 3, is probably going to be the best bet to just take them out in one hit. The problem is, like, the NP use of that thing is crazy. And as you can see, that's overkill, but Fire 2 wasn't that great. Like, I almost wonder if Ice wouldn't be able to do a decent job there. Oh, 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 we're falling. And we gotta keep jamming the buttons. There we go. Perfect. All right. I talked to a couple people, and they didn't know those uh, items existed down there. Which I think that's the only way to get the uh, the wizard staff. And then since we've done it already, oh, I thought I'd hit the circle button to jump. That's a cool little animation, I think. But see that we've already grabbed... My cat's going crazy. My cat's going completely insane. Uh, we've already grabbed the items down here, so that was just kind of a waste of 45-ish seconds. Actually, probably closer to 30, but... And we have the Transform Materia, which if I remember correctly... Oops. Let's take a look at it. Transform either shrinks people or turns them into toads. Fire, revive, all poison, restore lightning. Long range on you. Let's take steel. Oop. Let's take steel off of you and actually give you Ifrit as well. Put steel over here on Cloud. I mean Cligs, excuse me. Gotta remember to call them by their story canon names. Hey, look, it's all our peoples. Oh, Cligs, good luck. I am Cligs. I am here to click you good. I don't know what that means. So if I remember correctly, fire didn't do anything against these guys. Good thing we hit hard. He's in the back row, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. 
Oh well. Yeah, Kligs there is already at the point where he's one-shotting stuff, so that's that's a good sign. That means we got to the level we needed to get to, and we're going even further. The one thing I wish is when you leveled up in this game, I wish that they would show you the stat differences. Ow, it sure is tight in here. Come on, Kligs, don't let it get to you. Let's see, this is it. Maybe if I turn this, something should happen. Do it. Oh, they couldn't animate it. And there they go. Anything over here? I don't think there's anything over here, but I'm pretty sure there's something down below. Other side there. Honkus. That does a lot of damage, actually. I mean, if we hadn't if we hadn't taken the time to um, level our characters, that would be doing more than just a little over the a fifth of the damage. Yeah. That's actually great. We got all four of them. Yeah, kill him. And the dolphin, bro. She punched him with a dolphin. It's her tramp stamp. She loves dolphins. Y'all in the chat know somebody like that? that way. So now we gotta go all... Wait a minute. What is this? What is this? I've never done this before. Oh, cool! I have never seen this. Oh, cute! Huff, huff. Looks like they're sitting on materia. What should we do? Take the damn treasure or leave it where it is? Times are tough, I'm taking the treasure. Your hair looks like a chocobo. What? Gl glug? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what is this? I've never seen this in the 20 years I've played. Giant murder chicken! Okay, this thing has an enemy skill. I'm 90% certain this thing has an enemy skill and will also... Petrify us? Not sure. I probably shouldn't be attacking it. I should be waiting for it to use its enemy skill. Oh. I guess I'm an... Uh, I'm an idiot. We killed its mother. I received ten phoenix down. Now those baby birds are gonna die. Wow. All this time. Let's go take a look at him again. Are they dead this time? I feel like maybe I did a bad thing. Okay, yep. There's birds here. Now what do I get? See, it looks like there's materia in that box over to the left. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. I've never seen that before. Wow. Wow. I'm actually... That's genuinely cool. I'm actually really happy about that. Well, these motherfuckers... I'm using way too much, uh... magic to defeat these guys. That summon will be good enough. Oh, we haven't summoned Shiva yet, I think, huh? Well, it's happening now. most basic bitch Shiva in the entire series, just because it's the first time she was modeled. In the rest of them, Shiva's like this ridiculous, like, sexy one, like, supermodel model thing with all these intricate outfits and all sorts of stuff. 40 AP for that, that's not too bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. 
and more fights. This area drags on a little bit. Alright, this might is this the first time I got Blade Beam on camera? So it hits the first one really hard and then hits the rest of them. It's a really good not early game skill, because obviously you have to grind a bit to get it, but um, just the fact that it's uh, it's uh, hits all enemies is important. Obviously, it doesn't do a ton of damage to all the enemies, but it still hits them all. So if you hit, if you hit that limit and you're um, in like a boss fight or something with adds, you can use that as a surefire way to do a ton of damage to the to the main boss and then hit the ads. Did you ever wind up around here? Look, I'm sorry, but I can't do anything for you. you give me all these damn... Oh boy, Corral sure has gone to pot. Used to be a famous coal mining town. They say there are more jobs than you could shake a... Well, you get the picture. Now it's nothing but a miserable pit. Me, my bulldozer, everything's out of work. I'm trying to grab these source things. Power source and mine source. And we grab the tent. Let's see if I talk to him. Got no job, I can't even show my face. About all that's left for me is to just live in this hole all day. Sucks for him. So we actually need to use um, all the sources we've grabbed at this point, which is, there's a fair amount. So there's three power sources, a guard source, three mind sources, a speed source, and a luck source. That all increase those various stats associated with those. Ifrit, and that'll be overkill, but at least we'll get to see Ifrit, huh? That'll be nice. Bam! You're all dead? Yeah, cool. I think those things gave us a pretty decent amount of uh, AP. Yeah, 40 AP is not bad. It's nothing to turn your nose up at, that's for damn sure. Um... There's a place I will grind far later in the game, um, off-screen, where all the enemies are around level 50, and they give you good XP up to, like, level 65. Um, and um, they give you, I think, 250 AP per fight if you if you get the good enemy formation. Um, that's the Wutai area. That's probably one of the best um, world map areas to grind. Uh, there's a few dungeon areas that are good to grind as well, uh, but obviously that doesn't give you the flexibility that the world map does. So you can pretty much go there, sit there for a few hours, and get yourself set for the rest of the game. Look at this cool ass... Since the stream quality is unstable, but it looks like the bitrate has been perfect the entire time. It's now saying that I'm offline. But I'm not. I'm looking at my stream right there. I guarantee you it is entirely because of, um... Oh shit, we're in Coral. Or Corel. It's entirely because of everybody's streaming E3 right now. Never thought I'd see your face again. They kick you out of another town or something? You destroy everything you touch. You got a lot of balls coming back here. Look at this place. It's all your fault North Corral turned into a garbage heap. Whew. Why don't you say something? Or did you forget what you've done here already? I'm sorry. You ain't even worth the effort. Don't waste your time talking to that techno freak. And now it's time for a side story I don't give a shit about. You heard him, it's my fault this town was destroyed. And off he goes. To maim, murder, kill, hate fuck, whatever. Apparently my stream went completely offline. Hmm. 
I want to take a look at that really quick. So bear with me here. Hmm, that's really weird. Okay. Sorry, guys, I'm almost done. Okay, well, that sucks. That sucks, that sucks, that really sucks. I hope I'll be able to fix that. Hmm. Oh, if that happens again, we're going to have to probably cancel the stream for the afternoon. So hopefully we don't have to deal with that again. The next train's coming soon. Grandpa used to be a coal train engineer. He still can't kick his old habits from then. There ain't really much to do in this place. I think we might be able to buy like an item or two or a weapon or something, but nothing here. One of these guys got something I want, I think. I don't care about anybody's story. Everything got fucked up. That, that's it. Gonna need some of my weapons. Okay, I think this is the guy we wanted to talk to. Let's see. Okay, I already have carbon bangles. And we have a force stealer, so I'm not worried about any of that. There is. There's an inn up there, but we can just kind of pass through this. Oh, what is this? Kanye, what happened? Sorry. What happened? My hometown used to be around here. What do you mean, used to? <sighs> it ain't here no more. Heard it got buried in just four years. But how could those people say those terrible things? And it's my fault. All my fault. So here's his backstory. My hometown, Corral's always been a coal mining town. It's so dusty, but calm and so poor. A real small town. That's the first time I ever heard the word Maker Reactor mentioned since that time. Ugh, oh, good scratch. What are we gonna do? The only one against this is Dine. I'm definitely against it, no matter what. There's nothing to talk about if you're thinking of throwing away our coal. Our coal's been protected for generations. Our fathers and theirs before them risked their lives for it. We have no right to throw it all away so easily. But listen, Dine, no one uses coal nowadays. It's a sign of the times. Right, everything is Mako now. It'll be alright, Dine. Shinner Inc. will guarantee your livelihood once the Mako reactor is completed. Listen, I don't want my wife to suffer anymore. I know how you feel. I feel the same way too, damn it. But even so, I won't give away our coal mines. You've got to understand. I ain't got to understand shit. Fuck all y'all. That's how the Coral Reactor was built and completed. We all thought it would bring us an easier life. Everything's on fire with bad vignette mac matting, whatever it's called. Layering. Coral was burned down by the Shinra troops. All the townspeople, all my relatives, everyone, everything. Shinra troops, what for? 
There was an explosion at a reactor. Shinra blamed the accident on the people, said it was done by a rebel faction. That's so terrible. Well, I guess that's true, but more than Shinra, I couldn't forgive myself. Never should have gone along with the building of the reactor. Don't blame yourself. We were all fooled by the promises Shinra made back then. That's why, that's why I get so pissed off. Not only did they take advantage of me, but I lost my wife, Myrna, too. Hey everyone, if you want to go to the Gold Saucer, hurry and get on. Oh, hey, Hespy. You didn't know they're coming out with a, a remake of Final Fantasy VII? Right the rope way. Yeah, let's go. Let's get on. Whew. Yeah, they announced it a few years ago. Um, and since it's gone into development hell, and it looks like you're not going to actually get to see anything about it until... Or you're not going to get to see the game until, like, 2020. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Dine was my best friend. We was close ever since we was kids. Wow, both the stream and I feel like garbage today. I never knew. Kanye never said a thing. I'm not sympathizing with Kanye. He never should have trusted Shinra Incorporated. Eh. We better go on. So you're ready for some weird bullshit? Actually, it's not too weird. This area is cool. I like it. I also like the weird... this thing. Like, look at that! Like, flying into the fucking sky and we have no idea where it's leading us to. Oh my god! This place is cool. There's a lot of really cool endgame stuff to do here. No, Bethesda had a really shitty conference last night at like 9. Um, they announced uh, Wolfenstein 2, a bunch of bullshit for Skyrim. Um, I think the Evil Within 2, which nobody gives a shit about. Yeah. Alright, so we're locked in here. Because this is the one and only place in the entire game. Where they charge you special currency to save. Alright, so let's see. 19,000. We really spent a lot of money. Yeah, they're still beating on that damn dead horse. Welcome to the Gold Saucer. Are you together? A single pass is 3,000, or you can purchase a lifetime pass for 30,000. Well, unfortunately, I don't have 30,000 on me, so I'm going to have to waste 3k gil. Jill. Gil, whatever. Yeah, Wolfenstein, and, uh, Wolfenstein 2 is probably going to be pretty badass. If you leave the Gold Saucer, your tickets become invalid. Here at the Gold Saucer, there are many places where you must pay with Gippa. Just think of Gippa as money that you can use only at the Gold Saucer. Gippa can only be redeemed at the games in Wonder Square and at the Chocobo races. Your Gippa limit is 10,000, so please be careful. Please enjoy yourselves. I'm half dead here. This whole friggin' part feels unnecessary to be perfectly honest um, but this place becomes very important towards the end of the game especially because you can get some insanely powerful materia here that you can't get anywhere else uh, towards the end of the game how you doing Hespy by the way well, this isn't the right time to do this hey Kanye cheer up I ain't no cheery mood so just leave me alone Really? That's too bad. Let's 
go. Oh wait, that's not the part where she whispers. Wasn't that a little harsh, Martyr? Just act normal when this happens. Of course. We're gonna go play. Play, messing around, motherfuckers. Don't forget, we're after Edge Lord. I think he's mad. He'll be fine. He seems to be doing a little better now. The reveal trailer for what, Hespy? Oh, we can only take one person along and uh, stuff happens based on who you take along. Wish we could just forget everything and have fun. Let's go with Martyr. Why not? We should go with Cucks a lot and screw things up. Aw, oh, this is where I want to go. We're currently renovating. Please come again. Okay, we've got Speed, Ghost, Round, Station, Station, Wonder, Event, and Chocobo. Let's go to Speed. It's been a while since I've been through here. Hey, boy. Boy. How is it? You having fun? Hmm, so you are having fun. Well, good. Good for you, boy. Oh, yeah, that, that trailer looked pretty cool. My name's Kliggs, and stop calling me boy. Oh, hey, there's our childhood friend dude over there. Johnny, I think his name is. I'm the owner of the Gold Saucer. The name's Dio! Dio! Do you think he calls the Gold Saucer the world? Zawarudo? <laughs> Just call me Dio! Not even listening. By the way, boy, do you know what a black materia is? I know what it is. Oh, so you do know. Why'd you ask me? Well, a while back, a boy your age came in and asked me if I had a black materia. I thought you might know who he was, seeing as how you're both about the same age. Did he happen to have a black cape? Why, yes, yes indeed, and a tattoo on his hand that said Juan. Where did he go? I have no idea. Well then, I'm out. Good job, Dio. Stop by the battle arena if you like, boy. You'll probably like it. Many of my collections are on display there. Ha ha ha. Let's talk to Johnny. First I gotta memorize the order it comes out and then guess on the attacks, mumble mumble. Maybe that isn't Johnny. Maybe that's just another guy dressed exactly like him. Fuck you, kids. I want to go on the ride. Come on. Looks like my stream's holding well here. This is your first time? First explain the blah blah blah. The game over there. Okay. Fine. Over at Gift or at the other person? Yes, I want to see the Wall of Fame. I have no high scores. You'll receive a prize if you get more than 3,000 points, so good luck. I don't think I've ever done this one. Yes, I want to hear your stupid rules. Shooting coaster. Bang, zoom. You destroy them with a big boom. Oh, shoot, hit the circle button, and the bar shown on the left is the power meter. When it's full, it'll go broom, and when it's empty, it'll go broom, and becomes weak, so be careful. Also, if you're in the top three, you'll get on the wall of fame. Okay, I got it. Let's do it. I don't have any fucking GP. I'm pretty sure I have to grind out shit at the Wonder Square to get GP. Who's this? Hey, I finally got 5,000 points. Wow, you're so wonderful. Man, I finally got a prize. What's your prize? Oh, won't even talk to me. Fuck you then. Let's go in the Vunta Square. Hey, you, what are you looking so down for? Who is this, I wonder? How about it? Want me to read your fortune? A bright future, a happy future. Okay, I'm going to stop reading like that. That's dumb. Oh, but don't hold it against me if it's not a great prediction. Oh, so sorry. I'm a fortune-telling machine. The names... Oh. Oh, what are we going to name this cat person? Um, hmm... Okay, we have cucks a lot, so we can't name it something with cucking. Um, uh, we have hentai as a name, so we can stay away from the hentai shit. Um, um, what about in all caps, 
Mr. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I hate it and I love it. <laughs> We're going to yell it every time he says it. You can only read the future. You kidding? I can find missing things, missing people, anything. <laughs> then can you tell me where a man named Edgelord is? <laughs> I can't get over Mr. Poop. <laughs> oh, shit. Literally. Edgelord, right? Okay, here goes. Let's do our stupid dance. Ordinary luck. It will be an act of fortune. Give in to the goodwill of others and something big will happen after summer. Wait, what's this? Huh? Let me try again. Come on, damn it. Be careful of forgetfulness. Your lucky color is blue. Forget it. Wait, give me another chance. Let me try again. Yeah, you do that weird creepy dancing motion. What the? What? What you pursue will be yours, but you will lose something dear. I don't know if it's good or bad. This is the first time I've ever got something like this. Then shall we? What are you talking about? As a fortune teller, I can't help but think about this. If I don't see what it leads to, I won't be able to relax. That's why I'm going with you. What are we gonna do, Cliggs? I'm coming with you no matter what you say. Mr. Poop! Hey, he's entered me, he's penetrated me, I'm, God! All right, let's go over here and get some GP and waste it on shit. Later you can just buy GP, if I remember correctly. You have zero GP. Exchange your GP for prices here? Yes. Alright, you're able to get more GP and more stuff later. Um, but you can just grind out a gold ticket here. Um, for Gil. Arm wrestling, mega sumo game, one game, 100 gold. Try it. Please select the opponent. Sumo wrestler. Please push the circle button consecutively. Ready, go. I win. I received one gipa. You have one gipa. No. No! Son of a bitch! I don't... I don't want... There we go. I want to play the game again. Try it. Let's do a wrestler. Alright, here we go. Uh, 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 you son of a bitch! I'll kill you! I'll kill- Oh! You got me. Shit. I think Super Dunk's pretty easy. Try it. Way too hard. Okay, we'll try this again. Try it. it should be as good as off on. Okay. Off, on. Off, on. Oh, too hard. Way too hard. It's off by a second. See, if you do that perfectly forever, you can just gain all your GP here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Too hard again! Shit! Received one gapu. The uh, payout really isn't that great. We can do good bike. Should we do good bike? Probably not gonna do good bike. Not right now, anyways. You can play this weird fighting game, and you can do other stuff here. So basically, what this is here um, is all the all the cool mini games they put into this game. You can come here and play for a price. Upper, mid, and lower. Try it. All right. So this one's completely rock, paper, scissors. Wow, he's really, he really keeps trying to go for low.
Come on, give me the face. Give me the face. Damn it. Oh, hey, I got him. The hypest fighting on YouTube. All right, now we got to fight this guy. I don't know why I'm concentrating so hard on this. I have no idea why I'm concentrating, so son of a bitch. My lows beat their lows every time. And for the most part, I seem to end up being able to get them. Okay, there we go. Bethesda with the playing mods. Yeah, that's pretty bad, dude. All right, look at this guy. This guy's gonna fuck me up if I remember correctly. This guy is designed to beat you. Look, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had a single opportunity to get him. And there's no like pattern you can look up or anything like that. He just fucking pushes your shit in. I received three gapi and I got beat by some asshole. I've never been able to do good at any of these. So it's a good thing you can just buy GP later on. Because you can come here and just buy the stuff you need to get everything else you need from here. Alright, Chocobo, event, round, speed, battle. What's in the round? I think that's the I think that's the tour thing. Yep, no, we don't want to do that now. What we wanna do is try to leave. Because fuck this. Enjoy yourselves. Okay, that's not it yet. There's some... Showing me as offline again. Am I having issues with my stream again? Friggin' hope not. Am I still online for you guys? Can you guys see me? Can you see the stream? Shinra! Oh, he's dead! Hmm? This place and the Chocobo area are the best parts of, uh... Best parts of the Gold Saucer. And yet they don't let you do it right away. Which is annoying. Well, they're gonna make it like Final Fantasy XV. Like a, a 15 Kingdom Hearts hybrid, which let's let's be honest, fucking Kingdom Hearts is just... <laughs> well, Kingdom Hearts 3 is really just Final Fantasy 15 and vice versa. Because it's made by the same guy. Did Edgelord do this? Everybody's dead. No, it's not him. They're all shot. Edgelord would never use a gun. He uses a katana. Because he's an edgelord. Aw, oh, come on. This looks good still. Hey, what happened? A man with a gun on his arm. Oh, shit. It can't be. Hold it right there and stay quiet. Why y'all running up on me? We ain't got no guns. Did you guys do this? No, it wasn't us. I must have been wrong. Hurry and run. It's gonna get ugly. God damn it, Mr. Poop. Hold them. Uh-oh. That's as far as you go, according to Dio. Wait, listen to clicks. Oh God, robots. We've destroyed robots before. I don't know why we're so scared of these robots. One more to go, according to Dio. Hey, pay attention. There's no need to listen. Pay for your crime down below. In my fuck hole. Do it! Weird robots. Oh, this part of the game's a fucking slog. Y'all right? Where are we? A desert prison, Corral prison. A desert prison? 
Yep, a natural prison in the middle of the desert surrounded entirely by quicksand. Once you get in, you never get out. But there was one special exception. Hey, look! It's Kanye! Fuck you doing, Kanye? Oh, you killed another man? You're just going full Kanye now, huh? Did he really... Stay back, this is something I gotta deal with. Just leave me alone. I'm Kanye. That's one of your friends? He sure looks dangerous. Racist. What should we do? Kanye's not his normal self. Damn it, Mr. Poop. How dare you. Alright, there's a couple items around here, but if I remember correctly, there isn't really much in the way of good shit. Empty. I don't know if anything ever gets in there. Alright. Let's keep heading. Up. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's random battles in the middle of this. And none of my characters have any materia. Well, I mean, Cliggs does. And Match or Magic will just straight up carry you through the majority of this game. Cure 3. Why, thank you. That was so polite of you. Tried to manipulate a enemy that wasn't there. At least he hits kind of hard. Mr. Poop the Cat. Seems like an appropriate name for some shitty cat. Some shitty stuffed animal. Alright, let's see. Transform and manipulate. Got all... Hmm. You already have a transform equipped. Put everybody to sleep. We gotta focus. There we go. There really isn't any point to equipping her with anything better. We're just gonna be switching over characters as soon as we get a chance around here. Uh, what's going on here? Shit, EA, Microsoft, Bethesda, PC Gaming Show, Devolver Digital. Microsoft's I watched, and it wasn't that bad. Um, that, like, they just kept showing games and games and games that all looked good. Look at this asshole following me. He just laughs at me while he follows me. I'll tell you one thing, Rookie, the desert is extremely dangerous. It'll welcome you in, but when you try to leave, it'll swallow you. I hear tell some of them never make it out. Best thing to do is to stay out of the desert entirely. Alright, let's save, because we haven't saved in a little bit. About an hour, actually. Oh! Slight back pain. Alright, we have saved. Let's continue on. There's a bunch of weird fellas down here in this strange prison. Including guys that'll just straight up steal shit from ya. Does it work? Put them all to sleep? We got one of them. Wonder what level 4 suicide will do to these guys. Stole magic comb off of me. Aw oh, man. Uh, what that level 4 suicide spell does? is it will kill them um, if their level is a multiple of 4. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, so on and so forth. Oh, good stretch. I feel like ass today, you guys. Absolute ass. Alright, first place we need to go is in this house here. Hey, you guys recognize this? It's a fucked up version of the house from that flashback. Oh no, it's him. Didn't I tell you not to come here? Now he's gonna shoot us because it's Kanye. And nothing Kanye does ever makes any fucking sense. You'll understand if you just hear us out. He shot that guy. For some reason. Didn't want none of y'all to get involved. 
Hey, that's Kliggs's line. It's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we're already involved in this, asshole. We saw you and hurried here. So come on, Kanye. Just tell us what's going on. You guys. I heard that the murders at the battle arena were done by a man with a gun arm. Was that you? There's another, another man that got a gun grafted into one of his arms. It was four years ago. Ooh, man. I remember I was on my way home from visiting a Mako reactor being built. You mean THE Mako reactor being built? Kanye, come quick. The village is being attacked. It's Shinra soldiers. What? Let's jump down here and look. Damn, their house is burning. What the hell happened? <laughs> Down to his knees. He's so pissed off. Hey Kanye, it's not over yet. Everyone's waiting, let's go back to the village. What's up, Thunder? See, but that's what I was talking about, Thunder. There's, there, the, so the the possibility is open because those games aren't region locked anymore. Come on, Kanye, we gotta hurry. Kurg, dancing and being an asshole. Kanye, you stay here. Ka ha ha. You can shoot all day and never hit them with aim like that. Stop playing around and cover me. Ready for this dynamic camera angle? Hang on. Listen to me. Come back to the village, you hear? Yeah, I ain't letting go. Come back. Everyone's waiting for you. And Marlene, they're all waiting on us. This one. Oh my god. Their hands got shot. Oh no. From then on, I couldn't use my right arm no more. I was depressed for a while. But then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. That makes sense. I got a new right arm to get revenge on the Shinra who took everything away. Back then, I heard the docs say there was another man who got the same operation as me. But his was the left arm. Dot to dot. But Dine's injury was the same as yours, right? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by the Shinra, too. He'll probably join us to fight against the Shinra. I wouldn't bet on it. I gotta apologize to die before I arrest the peace. And that's why I gotta go alone. I feel like shit today. Do whatever you want. Is that what you want to hear? Well, I can't let you do it because if you're gonna die on me, if you die on me, I'm gonna have nightmares. Kanye, this isn't the end. Weren't you gonna save the planet? Shit, honkers. <laughs> Shit, honkers. <laughs> you ought to know by now. That's alright, I'm no diff not so different from you. It's easier to understand. It's you, Kanye. That doesn't make any fucking sense. So there it is, Kanye. I guess it'll be me, Kanye, and... Kanye, and... Kanye, and... Let's get the fuck rid of Martyr. Hmm... Uh, hmm, uh, cucks a lot. All right, let's go check out that dead body he shot. Oh, I can't go over there. Damn it. So the idea now, like, there's a bunch of other story stuff we can do here, like figure out how we need to get out, etc., etc. But what you really need to do is just catch that cutscene, run out here, and go into a fight. Speaking of fight, let's... Oh, let's equip some materia. Actually, let's equip some items on Kanye, and then equip some materia. Alright. Mithril armlet. Fuck it, you can have a carbon bangle, why not? We'll throw that protect vest on him. Alright, so there's Kligs, there's Honkers. 
We're just going to move it all over, just in the interest of... We're going to move it all over just in the interest of getting the damn materia some levels here. You know what, since we have that extra slot... We can throw heal in there. He heal's important, actually. So we will keep using that. <laughs> but once you grab that, this guy dies, and then you need to go up here and run around out in the desert. This one's been shot too. And there's a specific way you need to go, otherwise you can get lost um, to get to a, a like, scrapyard, basically. It cucks a lot. Hit him with that fire too. Wow, that did nothing. Or did it? I can't tell. So Kanye... This is the first time I think we've seen Kanye with a with a, a short-range weapon. Um, which is that weird can-opener claw fucking thing he has on his hand. Hey, he got levels. Probably get a lot, considering the fact that he's so much lower level than the rest of us. So you gotta follow here, and then you gotta follow the scar. Um, you can get lost immediately if you don't do this right away. Um, and they don't really tell you that you have to go out here and do this shit, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, this would be the second place you could get Matcher Magic. I have a rope right here in my closet just in case Nintendo doesn't announce a new Metroid. Oh, are you saying that you didn't like, uh, you didn't like, uh, uh, the, the, the one thing that, what? Well, that was annoying. You didn't like Metroid Cyber Squad or whatever the fuck it was called? Oh yeah, we're coming up on our sec or on our, our fourth uh, summon materia here very soon. And we have to remember to grab it because if we don't, we can never get it again. Federation Force. Yeah, Federation Force. It was such a good game that the fans wanted and and it had everything the fans wanted, just like just like that new Star Fox game that Miyazaki, Miyamoto, not Miyazaki, Miyamoto worked on specifically and designed it that way because he knows what the kids like. Because he's a 60-year-old sexless fucking Japanese corporate asshole. Dine, is that you? Now that's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. That's his bed over there, by the way. A little thing that looks like an operating table. I always hoped I'd be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Listen to me, Dine. I oh shit, he shot me in the fucking stomach. You son of a bitch, I kill you. I kill your family. What's that? I hear her voice. Huh? I hear her voice, Eleanor's voice, begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I didn't hunt you down. I know I was stupid, I'm not asking you to forgive me. Actually, he wasn't stupid. He was fooled just like everybody else. But what are you doing in a place like this? Why you want to kill those that ain't even involved? Why? Why the hell do you even care for? Shut up! I'm gonna go turn up my Linkin Park soundtrack audio music. I've become so numb. Are the people killed going to understand why? Are the people of Corel going to understand just hearing Shinra's excuses? I don't care what the reason is. All they give us is artillery and stupid excuses. And what's left is a world of despair and emptiness. You still want to hear why? Alright, I'll tell you. Because I want to destroy everything. I'm so angry at my parents. The people of this city. The city itself. I, ne I never cared for this part. I always thought it was kind of stupidly melodramatic. The whole world. I got nothing left in this world. Corel, Eleanor, Marlene. Dying. Marlene's still alive. Oh, shit. You don't know that? You ain't been back to Midgar in a minute. Huh? I went back into town. I thought she was gone for sure. That's why I wanted to be by her side until the end. That's when I found her. Found Marlene. She's in Midgar. Let's go see her together, all right? So, she's still alive. All right, Kanye. I guess that means you and I got to fight. Because nothing that happens in the fucking 45-minute span of this little side story makes any fucking sense at all whatsoever. What? 
Eleanor's alone all by herself. I've got to take Marlene to her. Are you insane? Marlene wants to see her mom, don't she? Stop shooting me, you stupid fucking idiot. Yeah, this guy this guy needs to get killed. And I super don't give a shit about him. I don't want to fight you. Kanye! Stay the hell out of it. This is my problem. Alright, let's bleed this motherfucker. Can I poison your ass? That would be nice. Yeah, that'll go a long way towards making this go fucking faster. This one-on-one -on -one fight is pretty dumb, actually. I actually, I need to switch him to the front row since he's got a, a, a short range equipped. Alright. I think he's only got his initial uh, limit break, too. Yep. And for some reason, even though he doesn't have a gun, he can still fire a big shot. Which will hopefully kill him. Good! Fucking good! Like, it's honestly not even a fight. If you die here, it's just fucking dumb. Nintendo fails to announce anything interesting tomorrow. I don't want another Wii U to happen. Uh, luckily, Haspi, another Wii U isn't gonna happen. The Switch is actually really good. The big thing that stopped me from basically giving it my seal of approval is the fact that the 3DS still exists. Otherwise, it's a great platform um, for a lot of games that are much better played portably than, than, you know, sitting on your couch playing on a console or even on a PC. Um, uh, the Binding of Isaac, if you've never played it, is a great game, and that is the perfect game for, like, the Switch. It wasn't just my arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where I went wrong. <laughs> Dying, I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? I told you I want to destroy everything, even me. Because I'm a fucking edgelord. I'm a bigger edgelord than fucking Sephiroth. I'm just not dressed like an edgelord. What about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Kanye. How old was Marlene back then? Even if I did go to her now, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, Kanye? These hands are a little too stained to carry Marlene anymore. Kanye. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was Eleanor's, my wife's memento. All right. Wow, Marlene's already four. Ah, uh, my daughter's four. And Wii U and 3DS does a freaking good job at everything. I'm finishing. Yeah, but the 3DS is is the shittiest screen in gaming. It has fucking terrible battery issues, weird save recovery issues. The 3DS has a lot of problems. Finishing the emblem e or fire emblem echoes at the moment. Nice. Don't ever make Marlene cry. Dine? Dine! Good, can we fucking carry on from this shit? God damn. I don't care. I don't fucking care. I don't care. My hands ain't any cleaner. I shouldn't be able to carry Marlene either, erg. Also, you're not getting a new Metroid, sorry to tell you. Game selection-wise, it's getting old, though. So you were supposed to talk to this guy and figure out things you had to do to get out of the prison. You want something? I want to go up. Like I told you before, see, you were supposed to have come here. You gotta get the boss's permission, then win the chocobo. Dine's got his reasons and can't speak. So I got this instead. Yeah, bullsh... I want to go up. Right. Did you kill Dine? You must have, or you'd never be holding that thing. So Dine's dead. Maybe now this place will calm down a little. Dine didn't care who anyone was. He gonna fuck him up. Hell do you know. This Coates guy looks like Don King. Right, I mean, I don't know anything, so, so sorry. Then will you get us out of here? Huh? Oh man, you guys are mistaken. I already told you there's only one way to get out of here. That's to win the Chocobo race that's held up there in the Gold Saucer. That seems pretty easy to pardon whatever crimes you've committed <laughs> and only one racer can go up at a time say what no really even if you threaten me a rules a rule I can't change it if I do the whole system down here I'll get messed up and I can't do that okay okay I'll let one go up there after that he's got to deal with Dio all right then 
Cliggs, you go. We'll wait down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race and get us out of here. You're right, Cliggs should do it. Fuck. It's like, okay. Have you decided? All you need now is a manager and register to get a chocobo. Hi, I happen to hear your story. Esther? Dressed so goddamn weird. I'll be your manager. Well, I got nothing against it, but this is Esther. She may look kind of funny, but there's no better manager in the races. She doesn't do shit. That's so rude. Yeah, well, nice to meet you, Cliggs. All right then, Cliggs. I'll send you up the elevator. Esther will fill you in on the details. You already see a fucking chocobo race? If you lose it, you get a permanent game over, and they delete your save file. Actually, that'd be funny. So that's what happened. I'll talk to Dio directly. You just concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, getting back to the other thing. There are many different types of chocobo jockeys. It's not just for criminals. Some people compete for the fame, some for the money, some for glory, and then there are people like you. I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. Okay. Select button to choose either auto or manual. In other words, you either control the chocobo or let it run on its own, but it's pretty hard to make the chocobo run the way you want it to. If the chocobo doesn't like you, it won't listen. You can't really help on this one. But most of the chocobos that I'll provide you with are mellow, and you should be able to handle them. When you're riding, use square button to speed up and X button to slow down. But if you go faster than the chocobo can handle, it'll lose its stamina really fast. And use the directional button to move the chocobo left and right. Use the circle button to get a boost of speed. So that's your turbo button, basically. Of course, your stamina runs out faster, though. There are some bad temper chocobos that blah, 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 blah. Fuck the chocobos and slow it down. Fuck the chocobos. That's what I said. That's what's going to happen to these chocobos. Once the first and second cross the goal line, press start to end the race. All right, there's the fourth materia right there. You knew? Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther, you're looking pretty as usual. Thanks. Let me introduce you, Cliggs. This is Joe, one of the top chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cliggs. If you're new, if you're with Esther, then right, he's an up-and-coming jockey. He's only been down here for a day and already made it up here. What? Oh, I see. So what did you do to go down there? Sorry, you're not supposed to ask about the past here. Pretty interesting. I have a feeling we'll meet again. He becomes a problem later on in the games. Then until we meet again, Cliggs. I'm going to go check on the chocobo for you. Just wait here for a while. All right. Need to blow past her and pick up Rama. Got nothing to say, huh? Don't get cocky. Skills don't matter once you get in a race. That fucking computer monitor is the same size as us. I hear baby crying. God damn it. Time to go. I gotta wait for everybody, I think, actually. I am faster than you fucking jockeys. You're all short and I hate you and you are all fucking your chocobos and it's really creepy that you do that. I don't want to do that. Something wrong with me. Cliggs. What? Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. This is a chocobo I prepared myself. He won't lose easily. You know how to ride one? Yeah, I got it. There's a secret in this... You gotta hold down all the buttons, and you get your stamina back. So if you do manual, you can pretty much boost until they can't go any further. Because you're always going to be rushing one guy like that. But there's always a point that you can get past them. And so what you want to do is, once you get to this point, you want to... Shit, which is the button for speeding up? I think this is the button for speeding up. I don't remember the button for speeding up. I fucked up. I think I figured it out. There we go. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. And my trick isn't working to refill the stamina. 
So, I guess I'm gonna have to try this again. Son of a bitch! Why ain't this working? You know what? We're just gonna let this fucking run its way out. I gotta check something. Cover Chocobo Stamina. Alright, because there's a trick to recover their stamina. P.S. Sorry, hang on, guys. Damn, we lost hard. R1 and R2 to recover your Chocobo stamina. Yeah, that's what I did. Why didn't it work? Too bad. You had a tough situation there. No, I didn't. Let me find a better Chocobo for you. Wait here a while. God damn it. Well, that's a tremendous pain in the ass. I've never not done that on the first try. That's really fucking annoying. Actually. Race will start in a few moments. Repeat. Here we go. Let's go through this. Come on. Let's go. Oh, what a tremendous pain in the ass that is, huh? <laughs> like, the only reason you would ever want to do this a second time right now um, is because you missed the, the materia the first time and you wanted another chance to go grab it. Yes, I know how to ride the fucking Chocobo. All right, so you basically, you want to hug the inside of the curve on the short track. Look at how fast that one's going. If we can get past it. God damn it, let me past you, you son of a bitch. All right, my stamina, there we go. I was holding too many of the buttons. So basically, if we do the rest of the race in first place, recovering stamina, by the time we get to the end, I'll be able to just um, use the rest of my boost to push further past these guys. And look, we can even use a little bit here. Because they're all going to start boosting, but at this point, and I mean, we have a better choke about than we did last time, and I remember my stupid stamina recovery trick. Basically, as long as we get in work good. There we go. We did it. We the best. We the motherfucking best. Yay, yay, yay. We the motherfucking best. You're not home free. Told me to give you this letter. If you're reading this, that means you must have won and won a victory that I'm sure you earned. I heard about dying for Master. Now that you're victorious, I promise you and your friends will get a full pardon. You'll be set free. By way of apology, I prepared a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to tell you this in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio Brando. A gift? Oh, look, we're getting a call on our Pahissa. Cliggs, isn't this great? The assistant manager just stopped by and dropped off a buggy for you. Now you can go over deserts and rivers, no problem. <laughs> okay, Cliggs, I'll be waiting outside. Hmm, the letter continues. P.S. I just recently met Edgelord. He must have a lot of fans with boys your age. Boys! Why don't you get his autograph? It seems he's headed towards the south of the river, towards Gongaga. Edgelord? I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, well, if you ever get your own race chocobo, come back again. I'll take care of your registration and everything. I'll see you again. We did it. All right, we need to get rid of that fucking motherfucker. There we go. We need to get to a fucking place where we can sleep. How to drive the buggy. Press OK to get on. Press cancel to get off. You can cross shallow rivers and deserts. So basically, you wouldn't have been able to get around if it wasn't for that shit. So, oh, well, we're in a battle here. And it says I'm offline again. Am I really offline? I swear to God. I swear to fucking Christ. 
No, I didn't switch over her materia either. Did the stream... Nope, the stream didn't get interrupted. Hooray. That's good. This has been a very annoying stream. With all the video issues we seem to have been having. Alright. Kill them all. Um... We're actually going to fight in this area again, and I am going to uh, use manipulation on one of those guys because I'm pretty sure one of them has white wind, which is going to be our next uh, major enemy skill that we want, which is a really good um, words I can't think of. It's a, it's a really good healing skill that you can get. All right, so that's North Coral. That's where we the shithole we passed through to take the rope thing over here. Probably help if I did the whole materia thing, huh? Let's see. Get rid of Shiva, give you Rama. Alright, so equip on you. I wanna give you that silver armlet. There we go. Alright, and we just wanna exchange from Kanye. Lightning. Restore. We can take the all. Random all off of cup cucks a lot. Throw it on Honkers, so now Honkers cures everybody. spell? I think I think it is. I couldn't... I'm not sure, though. But we want to take this Manipulate, and we want to give it to Cuxalot for now. Uh, that'll be important for later. Um, it's also going to be important for later to level up the Materia, but uh, we're not going to be worried about that right now. Actually, what I am worried about right now is taking a break, because I feel like shit. So I'm going to go through this fight here. Actually, can I Manipulate... Yet. Let's see. Does it work? Yes, it does. Okay. Manipulated flat feet A. So now I have control of that character um, instead of Cucks a lot. Tail beaten flying sickle. Okay, you're not the one. You're not the one with the damn white wind that I want. Okay. If that doesn't kill them, we'll use Rama. Although well, Blood Fang would probably have been the better choice here. So this is your first look at Rama. Rama. There's a, probably several different important or different ways to say that, <clears throat> and I'm an idiot because I don't know them. Yeah! It's awesome! Woo! Man, sorry, I'm totally out of it. Between that and the actual stream stopping earlier due to connection issues, I am just not happy today. Okay. I will be right back. Bear with me. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, and then we will continue on with our Cligs and Cuxalot adventures. See you in a second.
<sighs> okay, guys, I'm thinking I'm back. I just do not feel good today. I'm sorry. But that's fine. We're getting to some more interesting stuff here. Um, so we should be able to start having some good fun with the stream. What did I miss? Anybody die? Is everybody alive? Everybody hugging themselves? I don't know. I don't know what I'm fucking saying or asking. I don't know what's going on with my life. <clears throat> okay, so this part gets pretty interesting because now you have an opportunity to cross rivers, deserts, um, and yeah, you don't have the opportunity for low water yet. So it opens up where you're able to check out. Like, in, t in terms of, like, where you can actually go. And it just continues on from there to the point where you can go anywhere and do anything. To an extent, I should say. Ah, delicious. Sorry, I'm trying to get some little pep in my step with a little fucking coffee over here, don't you know? Um, hopefully it'll work. All right, so we gotta we gotta stay in this area until we get white wind, and then we'll be able to go on. In fact, you know what? We can just get out of this fucking car and just kind of run around, enjoy the audio, enjoy the video. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm so fucking dead. Bio two. That be enough to murder all of you? These guys hit for some good damage here. I'm definitely gonna have to do some grinding between this stream and the next, or I'm going to want to anyways. Wow, I'm not even at a point where Bio 2 can kill these guys. Ah, hopefully we'll get there though. So for those of you guys who haven't been here with us up to this point, uh, this stream, this video on demand that is going to get exported over to YouTube is going to be missing the first 24 minutes, which is now apparently its own separate video. Um, oh, here we go. This is what we wanted. Um, and the reason I bring that up is because I'm interested if I should even put that first part in. We definitely... Um, yeah, we did some story stuff. I'm going to have to put that in. Alright. So while we're waiting on that one... Sword Blade and Uppercutter. You guys don't have White Wind? Oh, White Wind isn't here, is it? Damn it. Well, that's incredibly annoying. I thought White Wind was here. That's enough to finish the job. Alright, so now that I know I've thoroughly wasted every- Ooh, I got kill Mazard! Which is... First of all, that looked terrible when I... phased in there. Kill Mazard is the second level two. I want to check. Used after hitting one opponent and attacks one opponent. If I remember correctly, that thing does a, a very good amount of damage. Um, it's one of the, it's uh, the best early game uh, limit break that uh, Kligs has for single enemies. Oh, get in the damn buggy! This thing gets left in the dust fairly quickly, actually. Um, but we are coming up on um, one of the cooler segments. Uh, one of the cooler story segments in the game, I should say. I think these guys have an enemy skill. But I don't think it's good. And I don't want to waste MP, so I'm just going to keep slapping them until, you know. <clears throat> one thing these guys do have um, is an insta-kill. They have an instant death spell that can appear randomly, and they're just a random number generator enemy. Where their attacks are based on 
a random flip of those cards, basically. I think there's like four or five different uh, things that can happen, one of which is us getting healed, which isn't that nice of them to heal us. Hi, kitty, what do you want? You're just rubbing all over me, choking yourself out on my controller. Y'all wanna see my cat? Y'all wanna see him? Y'all wanna see my pussy? <laughs> Remember that house, it's important later. This place is also important here. You start getting more... God damn it. Me and these damn controls. You start getting more... Um, materia than you can handle. Um, here. Is someone there? It's these assholes! Hey, Rude, who do you like? This part's kind of funny, actually. Rude likes honkers as honkers. It's very rude about that. That's a tough one. I don't know if that's a tough one, but poor Elena, she, you. No, she likes saying likes. I never knew that, but Seng likes that ancient. Hi, kitty. Meow. Kitty? You want to be on stream, kitty? Yeah, you do. Come here, Mr. Kitty Cat. Oh, who's a good kitty? You're a good kitty. Hello, kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Who's a good kitty? You're a good kitty. Hi, guys. Say hello to Mr. Kitty. He hates being picked up like this, but he's a big sissy, so he doesn't complain. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. You ready to go, Barry? Here. He's kind of looking for his way back into my lap. Maybe you guys will see him again. Who knows? Ah, oh, my eye. Just rub the cat dander right into my eye. Isn't that right, kitty? He just lays his ass down. Okay, you're a good kitty. Yes, I like you, Mr. Kitty. Okay, that's dumb. It's so stupid. They always talk about who they like or don't like, but Seng is different, and that's why I like him. They're here. They're really here. Hmm, then it's time. Don't go easy on them, even though they're girls. Don't worry, I'll do my job. Hi, kitty. Then we're counting on you two. I'll report to Seng. So now we get to fight these two guys. This is actually a fun fight. Payback. Out of our way. I don't like being taken for a fool. That's as far as you go. Now my hand is like sticky with fucking cat sh stuff. Damn it. I'm gonna have to actually heal clicks here. So you can hit these guys with beta a few times and it just handles everything. I don't think either one is particularly strong against fire damage. I guess Rude is a little bit more... Uh, resilient to fire damage or maybe magic damage in general, but it doesn't matter because they're all gonna fucking die. Like, it definitely uses a fair amount of, uh... Hi, kitty. It definitely uses a fair amount of MP every time you use it, but it hits, it hits stronger than most, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? It hits stronger than most, uh, summon attacks at this point here. So that was the 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 rude Reno fight. Uh, clearly not a big deal, but we get some good uh, experience and AP for it. 130 is pretty good, and Fairy Tail, which is a weapon for uh, for martyr. Interesting. They were definitely waiting for us. They followed us, but there weren't any signs of it. Then that means a spy? No way. I don't even want to think that there's a spy. I trust everyone. Even that random weird new cat that showed up out of the fucking blue for no reason. Even that one. Kitty. Where are you going, kitty? These things might have an enemy skill. This is gonna be, this is gonna be my fucking... Uh, oh shit, they straight up stopped her. They stopped both of them. Uh-oh. Well, I guess we're going to see if they have an enemy skill or not. Are they just going to stop both of us and kill us? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, this could be poor. 
So we can't do anything. Except sit here and chug old coffee. Aw, oh, kitty went bye-bye. Oh well. Fuck him! Not literally, don't fuck my cat! So now we get to see how long the stop is. There we go. And I can't manipulate them. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fucking fight these guys. Because I do not want to get... Son of a whore! I'll kill you! With fire! That didn't even get him. Damn. Ooh, that got him good. He got hit hard. Yeah, you just keep stopping the same person. That's fine. So the area... Blah, 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 fuck me. The area we're in is actually... A, uh... Exploded Mako Reactor. So basically the reactor went critical. Alright, and there's... A couple places we need to check here. Death Blow Materia. Uh, that is a Materia... That allows you to get a critical hit or a miss. It's one or the other. All right, now we need to go back in here. This branching area shit is kind of annoying for this spot here, uh, but there is something important we need to do and get here. So we're gonna have to hang out. Hopefully we don't get stuck fighting those damn- NOT THE FROGS! Okay. Every time he hits you, he'll turn your character into a frog. It's genuinely annoying. Hey, look. It's a blown-up reactor. And the way that looked was really weird. I swear to God, there's somebody with a damn thing here. There's somebody with an enemy skill somewhere around here. I'm probably completely wrong and I'm mistaking it for something else since it's been so damn long. Man, it'll be really nice when we get that counter materia. I said it in a previous stream, but if you equip counter and cover on the same character, He'll absorb every attack, and he'll counter every attack. So you'll just basically have a character that will be permanently attacking without using turns. Which is great. A ruined reactor. Uh-oh. These two. Think they bangin'? Head of Shinra weapon development. Hmm, this isn't any good either. You only get junky materia from junky reactors. Giving us a little backstory on what they're trying to do. This reactor is a failure. What I'm looking for is big, large, huge materia. You seen any? No, I haven't seen it. I'll get on it right away. Please, we could make the ultimate weapon if we only had some. I just can't wait. With Hojo gone, the weapon development's been getting a bigger budget. I envy them. But even if I make the perfect weapon, could that stupid Heidegger even use it? Oh, sorry, I forgot Heidegger was your boss. Ha 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 ha. Let's go. So if you look exactly where she was looking, you'll find some genuinely good materia. Big, large, huge materia. An ultimate weapon, the perfect weapon. Just what are the Shinra up to? Whew. And off they go. There's something shiny back there. Reach for it. So we got the Titan material, with it, which is an Earth uh, element summon material. Which is good and useful and importante. Alright. So now we've done that branch, so let's go back to where we come from before and hit the other branch. Uh, of these branching paths is what I'm referring to specifically. Please don't stop me. Okay. That's better. That's good. So now I can just hit you guys with beta and you're dead. Oh, good! That's one of the reasons we wasted, not wasted, but we spent so much time trying to get that. 
um, in the very beginning was because it's just so goddamn good. All right, so we went right here, and, or left last time. Now we're going to go right. And here we are in a special town that's full of dead people. Three years ago when the reactor exploded, my husband. So what you're saying is you're available. Ha ha ha, that's really not appropriate. I, sh I shouldn't have, uh, you know. Damn it, why didn't y'all tell me the mouse was just floating in the screen? A ruined reactor. Got some stuff to buy. Huh, did you want something? Buy accessories. Let's see, what accessories do you got? Protects against stuff. Automatically puts you in berserk. That's kind of good. Mystify. Time. Those are important purchases. We have those two materia. Uh, time materia you can set, or you can use haste, and you can set, like, auto haste and stuff uh, later on. You want to buy something? Buy weapons. This will be useful. Actually, maybe it fucking won't. Damn. Use one opponent to a frog. Uses minion on opponent. Fire damage on one opponent. Never mind. I already had all the good stuff from here. There's a lot of cool detail in in these things. These these areas. These pre-rendered backgrounds. I think they look really nice. Yeah, let's see. What items you got, bruh? You can buy high potions now. Buy some cornucopia, buy some maiden's kiss. We're probably never going to actually use those, but I like to have them around just in case. Let's see. Anything else worth checking out here? I guess we could. You a traveler? Hey, wait, that glare in your eye. You in soldier? Oh, you're right. You, do you know anything about our son? His name is Zack. It's been close to ten years since he left for the city, saying that he didn't want to live in the country. He left saying he's going to join Soldier. You ever hear of Zack in Soldier? Hmm, I don't know. Zack. Young lady, do you know him? I remember he wrote us six or seven years ago saying that he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? <clears throat> no, it wasn't. And then she runs the fuck off. Honkers, what happened? is actually kind of important for a story later on. This is completely optional, by the way. We don't have to do this, and you get a different reaction with Honkers or Martyr here. Zack, do you know him? No, 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 I don't know him! Your face tells me differently. I told you I don't. Uh, all right. Hmm. That sounds just like you, leaving town and saying, I'm joining Soldier. There were a lot of guys like us back then. You must be really something making it in Soldier out of a group like that. I really respect you. I just got lucky. Don't be so humble. Kligs, thanks for caring. Um, Zach is an important character. Um, if you came here as Martyr, you would find out that uh, he and Martyr were, uh, you know... <laughs> that was her first boyfriend. To be less vulgar. Alright. So on, now on to an incredibly cool area. Go across here. Actually, I think we can cut straight there. Yep, we can. Cool. What I'll probably do here... Close that down. Whoops. Uh, what I'll probably do here in a second is maybe chill out and do a little uh, grinding for cash because I'm going to need some money here very soon. Also, these guys fucking petrify us. It's a time to petrify, so it's not too big of a deal. But it's still petrify. Which means that if you don't take those guys out fast enough, you're all gonna turn to stone and die. Well, whoever hit with they or whoever they hit with the spell anyways. Cut our way through here. Hmm. Maybe I won't. Hey, what's that up there? I wonder what that is. I wonder if we'll see that towards the end of the game. Oh, let's go this way. <laughs> Alright. 
Y'all ready for some cool, cool story shit? You get your creation myth here. Back attack, oh no. They gonna stab me. Some bitch, I kill you, I kill your family. These guys are pretty, uh, pretty strong against fire. That's your magical finish it, though. There we go. All right. Time to get our butts in here. We're. If I don't do it now, I'm gonna want to come back here and get some materia soon. Uh, cause they have some incredibly important materia here. Um, and some really good items here as well. I'm home, it is I, Nanaki. Hey Nanaki, you're safe. Come on and say hello to Bugenhagen. Nanaki? Let's go Axe. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? Nah, let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. Umaga! It's full capacity at present, so I'm afraid I can't let you enter. They helped me some when I was on the road. Please let them in. Helped you some? Oh, is that so? You helped our Nanaki? Please come in. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Probably closer to Nanaki, but let's throw more pretty girls in our party. We can stare at their butts. Actually, give me a half second. I'm going to be right back. Just bear with me, would ya? Do it! I'm back. Thanks for bearing with me. Again. Alright, let's keep going. Ooh, gotta scratch my head. Gotta scratch my whole damn face. Let's get real gross with it. So we should be going up there, but I don't give a fuck about what goes on with him or the story here until I'm able to buy some of the items I need, except this isn't where I need to go. It's been so long. And I don't know where everything is, unfortunately. <laughs> I know these two over here towards the end are important. I think you get the material. Or you were able to buy material. Son of a bitch! There we go. I think you're able to buy materia here. No, go up! Notice they have a wind farm for energy instead of Mako. Um, you're able to get some awesome stuff back there later uh, in the game, too. Oh, I was wrong. There's nothing good here. Fuck me. Damn it. And I'm apparently offline again. This is just not a good day for this fucking streaming shit, you guys. Damn. Could be worse, but like... Holy shit, this video is going to have to go out with a hearty apology. 
Here's where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe were protectors of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes, my father was a wastrel. I don't know what that means. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. Yay, we're losing our weird dog animal friend. Whatever. Oops. Hey, Nanaki, you're home. Coming, Grandpa. That's perfect. Why don't we take a break, too? We can meet back here in a while. Okay. I'm being weird. I know I'm being weird. Deal with it. Tasty cocktails, pub scarlet, fluffy beds, Shildra Inn. Come in today. It's right near Cosmo Candle. Down there. Yeah, no, I get it. I don't remember doing that. I'm trying to go in the hole. There we go. So there's some really good weapons here. So almost everything here are replicas, but that's all right. Some of them you can really use. All right, I want to buy her tiger fang. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she has a silver armlet. And I can't see what Cuxalot has. That and we're gonna save really quick. There we go, far out of fucking Corel prison. Alright, there's a couple extra things here. Where did I put it? I know it's around here. But I know it's around here. Where did I put it? I know it's around here. Okay, that's all you got? Fuck you then. I'm out. I'm out. All right, let's head on up this way. Like there's a couple different things to check out here, but I'm pretty sure there's another shop up here. Oops. Oh man, I'm so busy, I need more help, Mummer complaint. Wow, very well. Here's a shop. Forgot your change. Yes, I'm coming. Are you here to shop? That's right. Is that so? You're here to shop? I'm sorry, we hardly ever get any customers, so. Oh, but I do have confidence in our materia. Important! Important! Incredibly important! Problem is, I don't have anything to. I have to sell some shit here. Problem is, I'm not gonna have enough to sell to actually. Metaru Nakaru. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Don't care about her shit. Don't care about that right now. We can sell these three Titan Bangles. Oh, we're actually making our way up to having enough. That is, what, 175 versus 900. So this one... Sell three of them just in case. Alright, so we've got enough for one hit points plus materia, which will be useful shortly, actually. Alright, so if we go up this way, you just get a really cool view of the canyon. But that's it. <laughs> Unless I'm wrong, in which case I'm sure the chat would love to yell at me. Let's head up here. So here is where all the important shit happens. Cliggs, this is my grandfather, Boogan. He is incredible, he knows everything. Ho ho ho. I hear that you looked after my Nanaki a bit. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, grandfather, I'm 48. Ho oh, ho, Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 48 years would only be equivalent to say that of a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. 15 or 16. He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up and be able to protect you in the village. Ho, ho, ho. No, Nanaki. You can't stand on your own yet. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. 
reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? What's that fucking mean? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. Also, he's totally floating on a weird ball thing. When it's time for this planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies... Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas. It may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the plant. The shadows of those bottles makes it look like he has feet on the table there. Also, listen to that. What's that? The sounds of the stars in the heaven. While this goes on, planets are born and die. Oh, shit! Screaming. What was that? Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. That was a scream from this planet. We're going to call him Santa Claus. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? That sounds really dirty. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. To save the planet, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show him. Santa Claus. Several odd-looking people have come. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends, too. I'll go get them. Cliggs, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's Machine. So I have to go find somebody I want to uh, bring in. And I don't think it matters who I grab, but I'm still going to try and grab... Uh, somebody. Probably going to try and grab Martyr. Uh, wait, I can talk to anybody and grab anybody. Here. So if I go over here... God, I hate studying. I don't know what the fuck that means. Yeah, from here I can grab Martyr. Oh, I have to grab a bunch of people. Fine, all the women. Cliggs is thirsty. Alright, let's go back up to the top. And do this. Yay, yay. Oof. Back pain. Here, over here. The door's unlocked. Come on in. This is my porn stash. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll stand here. This part's incredibly cool, actually. And it was one. Of, it was such a cool fucking moment. Uh, the first time through. Hi, kitty. Y'all see my cat? Right there. So pretty, it's just like the real thing. Yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Hey, a shooting star! It's so cool looking. It's cool how they overlay the actual character models and other models over what's essentially a CG. It's actually kind of beautiful. How wonderful. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. But what about their consciousness, their hearts, and their souls? The soul, too, returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. Spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, becoming a swell called the life stream. Life stream, in other words, a path of energy of the souls roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life, children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. 
Then, the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've digressed, but you'll understand better if you watch this. Such a cool little section here. I really like it. Genuinely like it. Uh oh, what's this shit? So here it's showing you a rudimentary way that of how energy flows and stuff. Character model bouncing up and down is funny. Spirit energy makes all things possible trees, birds, and humans. Not just living things, but spirit energy makes it possible for planets to be planets. What happens if that spirit energy were to disappear? This part's rather dramatic. Oh my god! <sighs> These are the basics of the study of planet life. If the spirit energy is lost, our planet is destroyed. Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. Spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about Mako energy, right? Everyday Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy gets compressed in the reactors and processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. It's kind of a big deal. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. Aw, oh, for some reason I remember that going on longer. I, I really like that section. I think that part's really cool. It's a really cool way to show everything off. Or show off the, the whole idea behind why Mako is bad and everything. The story of the planets and those who lived with them. You want to know more? Then you must listen to the words of the elders. Let's talk to you one more time. Nanaki, his father a coward? So that's it. Nanaki's been thinking that all this time. Alright, so our next step is to go chill at a bonfire with everybody, but I think just based on the fact that the stream has been having so many issues with connectivity that we're actually going to conclude here for the day. Uh, so I want to thank everybody who came out to the stream today. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, you should definitely leave a follow on the channel. Uh, this stream will be archived over on our YouTube channel. Uh, which you can find in the links below. That's Wu-Tang Chicken, same as uh, this Twitch channel. Um, we do Let's Plays and funny one-off videos over there as well. Um, so if you like that kind of thing, you should check that out. And if you like what you see, you should subscribe. Uh, for updates on what we're going to be streaming and when, you should follow us on Twitter, which you can also find in the links below. Uh, we do the majority of our announcements there and random shit posting as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for coming out again, you guys. I really appreciate it. I'm Jeff, and hopefully I will catch you next time.